What is going on guys? Sanity here playing some Planet Side 2. And I'm going to be giving you guys in this video a brief overview of my Terran Republic character. And just generally Planet Side 2 in general. So, you spawn out and you start out in a uh, your main base. you got all your basic equipment stands here. Anything from accessing equipment to being able to change around some stuff to being able to change your classes. Classes are Infantrator, Light Assault, Combat Medic, Engineer, Heavy Assault, and Max. Each with their own special abilities and roles that they play. I usually play the Infantrator class, which I have spec'd out on my sniper rifle. A 7x Optical Scope. Which basically gives me a little bit more of a range advantage, so you earn upgrades for your guns as you go along, which is awesome. Alright, here you have your main two vehiculars. The uh, Galaxy, which would be your main dropship, where people can spawn onto you. And you buy these with resources. You'll notice your resources in the bottom left-hand corner. You get resources for capturing points and generally controlling areas of the map. So, without further ado, then you have your ground vehicles, anything from your tanks to your little dune speeders which are personally my favorite yes sir nothing like riding across in a dune speeder uh, as for settings I'm playing on just so you guys know exactly what settings I'm playing on here uh, everything is on high except for shadow quality, which is on low, uh, because I am an old school Counter-Strike player, and I just don't like shadows, never have pretty much any of my games, but the game looks amazingly beautiful, and really keeps to the original planet side. I was a heavy original planet side player, so I was totally stoked to be able to get a beta key. So let's go ahead and get into some of the gameplay here. Uh, here you see your mini-maps, whereas the red areas are the areas that my faction controls. The blue and purple are other factions. The things with the exclamation points you can see are contested areas. So let's go ahead and get jump right in. I'm going to use the instant action warp which you can use to automatically drop into the battlefield. One option they have here, so let's go ahead and use this thing. It's going to probably take it a little bit of time to load in due to me being recording, which is fine with me. It gives me a little bit to talk about. So interestingly enough, as we're dropping in, you have a variety of roles that you play. As you can see, here you have A, B, C, D, E, and F. These are control points that if they're green, as they are right now, that means my team controls them currently. The object is to capture and hold these control point nodes. As you can see, F is flashing right now, so that means F is being contested. Basically, you come up to these things, stand beside them, and it starts capturing them for your team. The more of these nodes you control, the better off chance you have of controlling the plant that you are currently in. So you see we are in the Havar Tech plant and currently we control the zone but it is quickly being taken over by the Vanu Republic and that is not good. So we're gonna go ahead and do some mop up here, see what we can do. You have to forgive me if my aim is a little bad. It's the first time really playing recording, and it is lagging just a little bit. Not too bad, considering I still kept everything pretty much on max, so I'm not too disappointed. Also going to instant group him for the squad and see if we can make a coordinated effort here. 
Alright, we have one enemy spotted for sure, so I'm going to go ahead and cloak and uh, see what I can find. Not sure which class that was, but we'll find out eventually. Uncloaking. Interestingly enough, every single class in the game, as far as uh, factions, I should say, have different weapon types. I prefer the Terran Republic simply because they are able to have multiple clips and rounds. Most of their guns are fast firing. They don't hit too hard. For a sniper rifle, it takes about three shots, three to two shots actually, depending on how damaged they are beforehand, to actually kill someone. So it takes a while to down them, but you do get the option of the semi-automatic fire, which is excellent, I feel, for picking off long-range targets. Alright, so let's see if we can start moving in and recapturing some zones. A spawn control unit is back online. Good to know. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and move into F here. Looks like it's flashing and we're attempting to recapture, so... See how this goes. Alright, we have recaptured F. So far, so good, and fight breaking out. Show me what you're made of! Looks like that is a max unit, and I need to get the freak out of here. Not looking good for me, as I do not have any grenades. I need to restock on some grenades. That max unit probably still sticking around here, and there you go. And dropped. Not a happy place to be at all, as an infantry would you find a max unit in your face. Alright, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and redeploy right back where we were, pretty much. As you can see, the whole area is now just about taken over by the Vonda Republic. Like I said, you have to capture pretty much all the nodes, but they have successfully captured all the nodes and are kicking our keisters at this point in this match. And that now means we are all in enemy territory. Oh, and I managed to get dropped by melee. There's no quit in a TR soldier. We're about to lose this facility. The enemy has the facility. A costly failure. Man, we are just not doing good here. Getting our keisters completely kicked.
Turk. Alright. And we capture back the lab. And looks like they are now assaulting our fortification, trying to take it back. They did not like that one bit. Alright guys, well I think that's about, about it. I apologize for my second gameplay, but hey, I am pretty... Hardcorely strapped in FPS right now, but that's all right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this preview and just first look at Planet Side 2. There will be a ton of Planet Side 2 content coming out in the future, so be sure to stay tuned for that. <laughs>